I'm Catherine Rouse, and I've been at Inmar for just over six years. So my background was in math and statistics, and then I went back for computer science. And as I was working in computer science, what I really found was that I enjoyed the parts that really fell back on that mathematics and statistics. And so when you think about, you know, optimization and statistics and computer science, you end up in data science. So our group works a lot on relevancy and that's both relevancy to the consumer, but also, you know, when we think about ensuring that the consumer has promotions that they want, it's ensuring that there are promotions that they'll want, but also that they can access them easily. And so I've done projects on both sides of that project on predicting when types of products will be in high demand so that our sales team can go ensure that we have the promotions that people will need, whether that's in a season or for a specific holiday, that when people are trying to buy something, there will be promotions on our platform for them to use. And then on the other side of that, we've also worked on the systems that help consumers find the promotions that are most applicable to them more easily. So we'll work on relevancy systems. We have a lot of ongoing research and development to build out systems that help give insights into the, what the consumers will want to be able to find and so they can find their best offers more easily. One of the things that I like about Inmar is that we get to work in all the different business areas. Uh, so I've worked in our um, digital promotions, I've worked on projects for our supply tech group, I've worked on projects for our automotive group, for MarTech. So the projects change, which is great um, because you get to learn a new area of the business, a new part of what Inmar does, but then still look at this tool set that I have and decide how to best to help them. But I'm always getting to change projects, change areas, learn a new part of the business, try something different. I think of us as making the backbones that allow innovation to occur. So we need these scalable systems and systems that can allow for innovation and can handle the demand once the innovation is there. And so we both build in the innovations, the technical innovations, but no matter what you're working on, you're building these technological backbones that allow everything else to happen. It's a great place to work. <laughs>